Dateline Surabaya, where America's sensational submariner sets sail against our eastern foe. Today, Commander Ken Masters takes his pugnacious pig boat, the S-38, out for another patrol, with high hopes of a repeat performance of their last outing, which caught them a whale of a ship, the pride of the Japanese Navy, the Shokaku. Stay tuned to find out how Masters and his scads of seamen fare on their journey. I'm so glad that I did that. I've been thinking about doing that for days, and I did it, and I'm proud of it. Because everybody loves an old-timey 1940s radio announcer voice. You could be saying anything. You know, like, uh, your parents died in a horrible fire, but everybody's happy. Hope you're happy now. I'm I, Actually, it was kind of sad. Uh, I'm Effing Controller, and we're playing... <laughs> Playing Silent Hunter 4, moving along quickly. Um, we're going to continue our career as Ken Masters, the uh, master of the Eastern art of karate, and also one hell of a submarine skipper. Um, so we're in Surabaya. I mentioned at the end of the last patrol that I was a little concerned about how we would fare as far as uh, the safety of Surabaya, and I can confirm to you that we should be okay. <laughs> I kind of played ahead, and uh, we, we're, we're fine. Um... Other than that, there's not a whole lot of housekeeping. Uh, let's just look real quickly at the crew. I think I could hire another uh, seaman, <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to. I, I can't hire any more petty officers because the game says, no, you've reached an arbitrary limit of those, and that makes sense. would be unfair if I did. So uh, I did toss around some medals. Somebody, somebody here has medals. Did I not save? I thought I gave the... <laughs> well, the engine crew got shafted. None of you guys apparently got medals. Where did they go? I'm pretty sure I gave you guys some medals. Well, Leroy57 gets one. I just like to say that to be obnoxious, and I'm going to literally click through each one of these people. Um, partially so that you guys know who they are, but also so that I can find who got medals. Homer K11 got a medal. Juicy Rump got a medal for having an outstanding name. Hensa got a medal for having a name that's also quite good. Uh, he already had one. You bore me. Uh, Trunk Monkey got a Bronze Star for being really good with weapons. And Delonian got a silver star for being even better with weapons. I have a completely asinine way of awarding these medals, so don't be offended if you didn't get one. It's certainly not a reflection on you. It is a reflection on me just being a complete ass. Uh, Influx already had that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Spitzenhund got a silver star because he's a buddy of mine. And I think that's it. I feel like there should be more. Well, whatever. Um, there's no meaningful upgrades that we can make. There's no upgrades, literally. We're loaded out. So let's get going. Let's get to getting. February 18 to Ken Masters. Depart February 27. Okay, whatever. Just, just, just stop it. So we're going to go here. Um, stay within 75 nautical miles of the center point and make reports as necessary, etc, etc. They probably are anticipating the fact that there is an invasion about to happen. The invasion of Java is about to start uh, in, in seriousness. So, um, we're going to probably go try to intercept it. I don't know if we will or not, but we're certainly going to try our very, very best. And we will start docked outside of the harbor, because why? Why do that anymore? So, I'll see you guys at sea. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back aboard the uh, S-38. It's good to see everybody. Good to see everybody out uh, on deck doing their duty, especially you, Baldy McBalderson. Looking out onto the dark horizon, picking his ear, <laughs> stroking his non-existent beard. Could work. Oh, I just hope the enemy doesn't shine a light on us, because uh, I'm sure his egregiously bald head will reflect all the light back to them, immediately revealing our position and dooming us. Let's go below decks and see how everybody's doing. Oh, hello, radar. Non-existent radar. How's everybody doing? Good? Great. Grand. This guy is still high on mushrooms. It's good to see. At least he's consistent. Alright, so we are already on our way. Um... We're heading northwest towards the Karamata Strait. Uh, somebody out there reminded me... Whoa, we're getting a little bit of 
Chuggy Wuggy, I don't know what that was. Well, anyways, uh, somebody out there reminded me that it's about 1.85 kilometers to one nautical mile. Uh, I forgot your name and I didn't write it down, so I apologize, but thank you for that knowledge because that'll help a little bit because, you know, it's kind of important to know these things. So we're going to go to this circle, and I don't think that's exact. I'm not good at math, so we're going to head that way generally and see if we can run into a task force or something. And speaking of being bad at math, um, I mentioned at the end of the last uh, patrol that I was going to look at using other methods to determine my target's speed and direction of travel and things like that, and I was particularly interested in using the four bearings method, which is awesome. Basically, you take four bearings on your target, almost always by hydrophone, and um, from those bearings, you take them, I think, at regular intervals, and from that, you're able to infer their direction of travel, their speed, their exact position, and all kinds of good stuff. So, while I would love to do that, I have to confess something to you, and that is that I'm just not very smart. Actually, it's not a confession if you guys already know. Sometimes I just can't, I can't brain. I can't do a geometry, I can't do a science. So, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to uh, stick with the tried and true effing controller wild ass guess method, which seems to be working okay for us, um, but I would like to get a little bit more sophisticated. I will probably revisit it a little bit and just, you know, you guys have to bear with me while I learn these complicated methods of geometry and trigonometry and polygamy and whatnot. Um, it's, it's, you know, it doesn't come naturally to me. So uh, I apologize if I got anybody's hopes up as far as uh, doing that. So it's not going to happen, but it may in the future. I'll, I'll keep trying to apply myself. And in other news, we have new crewmen who I want to introduce to you because I very rudely failed to uh, at the beginning. So we have here Ninja Turtle 740, Dixon Balls, Krilla Childs, you're not new, this guy's new, this guy's new, Mr. Cujo. I believe that is all. So, welcome aboard, especially to Dixon Balls, who I hope doesn't uh, end up being in the same compartment as Juicy Rump. It would be awkward. But yeah, got a wild dog and uh, a Krilla, which is like a crawler except not edible, and then a Ninja Turtle. My favorite Ninja Turtle, incidentally, is always uh, has always been um, Michelangelo because he's a pizza dude. He's a party dude. Oh, man, did I really fuck that up? Man, childhood me is just crying and wailing somewhere. Well, anyways, um, in my soul is where it's wailing. All right, we're going <laughs> to stop this inane banter and continue on towards the Karamata Strait. I just conducted a dive because the game decided to chug, and sure enough, we're getting very faint noise over here. Roughly, we'll say to, I don't know, say 95 maybe? Oh no, it's pretty widespread. We'll say almost exactly 90. Um, hmm. Do we want to go to our position, or do we want to go to, or to our assigned grid, or do we want to go find what this is? I think we want to go find what this is. So, I'm going to operate under the assumption that they're heading southerly, because if they're not, I don't know if I really care. If they're heading to the north, they're probably not hostile. So, I want hostiles. I don't want friendlies. Even though friendlies is a delicious establishment. I actually have never yes, been to a friendlies because they don't have them out here. Anyways, yes, um, we're gonna. It's probably not quite necessary to go that far. And if it's some kind of task force, we're not gonna be able to probably keep pace with them. Engines are good, so. Just gonna have to try our very best to catch up. A little bit wavy. Do a quick check. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, well, hello. Hello, forearm, or whatever the hell that was. Well, not seeing it yet, but I'll let you guys know. I just did a sound check, and I heard them a little while ago over here but now they're gone, so they might have made an eastern turn. 
I'm going to pursue them that way. And we'll take this journey together, my friends. Let's, um... Just sail along together for a little bit. Oh. There's chugging again. So we possibly did lose them, and now we're getting them again. So that's good. That's an indicator that I was possibly right. It's also possible that they're just moving really slow, and I overtook them. That's unlikely if it's a task force, but it's possible. So we're going to wait until about now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Periscope yes, sir. And go under. Take another listen. Should be off to this side. But they're not. What happened? Whoa! That's peculiar. Okay, well they're saying southeast now, so... Um, and that is, is... That's really loud. We might be able to see that. Let's go to the TBT, actually. So wait, southeast should be... This way. Smoke. There's a whiff of smoke right there. Let's see more coming up off the horizon. Yes, sir. Ahead standard. All right, so they're not even quite that steep. I marked them in at, you know, roughly 45 degrees. There's something like this, and they're closer. Probably something like that, maybe? I'm going to turn us south-southeast, and I'm going to try to catch up with them. And I will catch up with you at the same time, hopefully. So this is uh, definitely some kind of convoy or task force because they are arrayed from uh, about 3.30 to 20 degrees, I believe it was, yeah. Let's mark that in because that's sizable. Um, let's see, that's... no. I'm going <laughs> to have problems with that, let me tell you. So let's see. So it was 3.30 to port, and then 20, roughly, to starboard. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yep. Love it or leave it, you guys. All right. So that's um, pretty hefty. That is a large formation of something. They're not that close. They're probably the yes, sir. over here. So let's surface, draw a better line. Surface, surface. This is start at 11 or something like that. That works for me. And tidy this up a little. There. So in this general area is a huge mass of ships, it would seem. I don't know how big of a mass. But it sounds like quite a lot, so I'm going to have us go south again. Because if it's a task force for heading for Java, I'm assuming that they're going to be heading something like this. They could... well, they could actually be going for Surabaya. Well, shit. We'll keep going south, and we'll just try to catch up with them, I guess. Okay, I think I'm getting closer now. I think things are starting to work out using my patented methods. Um, there's lots of smoke, as you guys can possibly see. Basically starting from about 342 all along the watchtower to about 352. So there's a lot of fucking ships. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what it is that we've run into here. But uh, I'm going balls out here. Whoa, and we're getting a lot of lag because there's some ships in this formation, whatever it is. But I'm going ahead flanks just so that I can overtake them. We're um, 
favorably positioned because it's um, starting to get dark out too. And that's going to be excellent, although the sun is behind us. So if a destroyer happens to sail our way, they will immediately see our silhouette. But that's not good. But, um, yeah, I think that this is uh, working out. Wow. Okay, they're, like, right ahead of us, so... I guess I'm just going to have to keep this up um, going into the night, uh, going as ahead uh, flank as much as I can to try and uh, get into a firing position. It seems like they are moving quick, and I'm not particularly quick, so this could be interesting. I think I might have gotten a little too close, but holy mother of shit. Or shall I say, holy mother of ship. That's a lot of ships out there. Not particularly well escorted either. On this side, there's nothing, basically. So, uh, we're getting close to these guys. They look like they must be steering or um, zigzagging or something. They could be steering towards me because their profiles are crossing me, basically. They will sail ahead of... or. Um, across my bow, so if they do that, that's great, because then I can uh, get into a firing position, hopefully, but there's a lot of ships, and they all seem to be medium composites or something like them, so this is a pretty uh, tasty tasty uh, convoy or whatever this is. I guess it would probably be the invasion force, really, is what it is. So uh, I'm going to have to batten down the hatches, as it were, and uh, get ready for a brawl. I've made a contact report, and we are being ordered to engage this convoy. So, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Let's just get another look. I've adjusted our course to be about you know, a little slightly west-southwest. But, oh boy, there's some shipping right there. There's a lot of boats. This is ridiculous. Oh my god! Look at all that. F one, two, three. There's some smoke over there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. That's an escort. Thirty-five. 76 trombones. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> oh my god. This could go really badly or really well. Um, oof. Maybe if they have aggressive escorts, it will be really, really bad for us. With that said, the waves are very, very, very rough. Well, not very, very. That's, that's too many berries. It's uh, somewhat rough. So that will definitely work to our advantage here. But there's a lot of uh, lot of targets in that. That's going to be fun. So I'm going to keep uh, trying to get into a position. I'm trying to outrun them. They're moving fairly quickly. And my little boat just doesn't put out enough speed. So I'm going to try my best to get into a firing position here. Well, looking at the map, I've determined that they have suddenly begun a turn. So they're all discombobulated um oh my this might be a surface attack that we're going to make right here because we don't have a whole hell of a lot of time back over here we're not quite close enough though is the problem Where are they turning, even? Looks like they're heading towards land, so... Crap. Let's try this. They're all screwed up. I don't know what they're doing. Um, and I paused the game. Durr.
There's a sub chaser there. Yeah, let's get to getting here. Let's uh, start IDing targets. They could have detected me. This is another possibility. A lot of these look like large modern composites to me. But that might just be wishful thinking. Nope, that's definitely one there. This is very confusing. I, I'm kind of almost tempted to just throw some torpedoes in a general direction and uh, hope that they hit. Definitely one of those again. That's mildly disconcerting over there. Let's keep turning. Let's face these guys. There's another one. And another one. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Some smaller ones there, but I'm not that interested in them. Just gonna complete our turn here. Yes, sir. Slow it down. This is gonna be very interesting because I don't know um, how good of a solution I'm gonna get. This <laughs> Why am I aiming at this guy? He's not. He's moving. I don't really. More interested in these guys that are kind of lethargically. Plotting yes, along. New course. One, five, two, yes, they look almost stopped, even. This is really strange. Okay, well, um... I'm gonna try our best to get a solution here on the water. Rough as it is. I'm hearing sirens. That's way too far away, if that's correct. I don't think it is. Okay, let's try this one. That's possible. But in that case, we need to get closer, so... I can't really even tell where the fuck they're going. They're just completely discombobulated. Dare I say, discombobulated even. <laughs> I'm so confused, you guys. They're heading towards me, basically. <laughs> Fine. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. We're just going to throw some torpedoes at them and hope to hell that they hit. Yes, sir. And with that yes, ship, sir. which I believe is the uh, minesweeper or the patrol boat, die, I'm going to put die. us under. Yes, yeah, they're <laughs> hitting right for me. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I think they're audible too, just in case you missed that. Okay. There's a big ass ship right there. Three. Just trying to figure out what direction they're going. <laughs> they did appear to be heading right for me, but they've steered a little bit. Well, this is possibly good then, because then I can get into a really excellent firing position on these guys. Come on. Four, five, long range. 
That's a big target right there, and it's close. I think what I'll do is I'll lob two torpedoes at each of these guys. But I want them to get on a better uh, angle. So I'm going to wait until my turn is uh, a little bit closer to finished. Three. If I can. He's getting really close, and he's basically got his profile presented here, so I think I might start taking a shot here. Okay, enough dilly-dallying. We're going to do this. If that's the right target. The fucking waves are not making this easy. Good grief. Good God, y'all. Wah. Huh. This is not, uh, not how I wanted to do this. Especially because we're executing a turn. Okay, let's just go with this one. It's really helpful of the game to put so many of these large modern composites in the formation. Oh, that's beautiful. That was really lucky. Yes, sir. Rudder. Rudder. I'm making the rudder yes, go... Uh, Bearing. Three. Three. Five. Long range. Or, uh, not making it go. <laughs> I guess it's funny. Oh, boy. I'm feeling a little verklempt. I'm mostly doing this just to get a speed ring. I'm going to shoot at the other one first, because this guy is going to be a easier target to hit, and it would be hit first, I believe. Or it's going to be... Wait. How, I'm not explaining this at all right. Um, the other guy to our right is uh, moving away from us at this point, so he would take longer to hit. This one is going to take less time, even though he's possibly... Well, he's closer. Anyways, so why am I explaining this? I don't know. Let's just range him again. I'll stop talking. Stop making an arse of myself. Let's wait for the waves to go down. Oh. Now this is... more like this now. Eleven knots, that's pretty good, I actually will say. Um, let's do him first. Range him. We're going to shoot two at him and two at the other one. And the th nice thing about this is that even though it's certainly possible that we'll miss, um, there's lots and lots of targets in this convoy. But we need to be able to get a shot off here, and the waves are not helping. It's kind of the story of my life right here, you guys. Oh my god, just fucking cool it with the waves. Okay, let's just do this. Here we go. Firing tube one. Firing tube two. This one's extremely close. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Can I get another look at him to see what his AOB is? Thank you. Three, five, seven. Long range. Should have had those open before, but whatevs. Firing tube three. Oh, I should have changed the speeds on those slightly. <sighs> well, you 
Can't have everything. Let's dive. Yes, sir. New deck. All right. Five, four. New deck. Five, nine. So let's see. I saw two just a moment ago. Let's go back to the ship here. Current deck. Two. Zero. Oh, oh, that's not good. Yes, sir. New depth, two, three. We're getting a shallow water alert, and that's kind of unfair that uh, Bearing, we know two, that, but seven. Long range. Torpedo impact. something got hit. That got hit. Oh, that's really excellent, actually. Simultaneous hits, is that's beautiful, because that means it makes it that much harder for them to dodge. We hit them exactly at the same time, just about. But I was looking at the wrong ships, so... <laughs> you win some, you lose some, I guess. Alright, now we have to try not to die. I'm... Okay, I was, that was really dodgy, and I apologize, you guys. That wasn't exactly the way I wanted to do that, but... We managed to get three hits, it sounds like. One of them could have been a dud. Let's look at the log here. Sounds like one of them was just a miss. So is there another one outstanding? Outstanding in his field, like a farmer? Bearing. Three. Three. Two. Long range. That's weird. Did I not fire the fourth one? No, I did. Okay, well, we're gonna... I thought yes, we were sir. running silent. We're reloading. I don't want us to be reloading right now. <sighs> All right. We're going to basically maneuver into the convoy as as we like to do and try to avoid any destroyers. We did miss with the third, but that's okay. Three out of four ain't bad. And I imagine that this one is not going to fare too well with two hits on one side. This one's going to take a little bit more uh, torpedoing. Wink, wink. But we'll see to it. Alright, now we focus, as we always do, on not dying. 